Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Oh, what, you're an android? Do you bleed milk? I saw that movie once. <clears throat> They attach themselves, you know, like the, those things in Aliens, you know, that, that face grabber deal. Space goes, 15 seconds till showtime. <laughs> What's the matter, Bunky? Uh, my tummy hurts. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Five seconds. I, I can't go on. Suck it up, whiny pants. Hey, let me know if an alien's gonna pop out of your stomach. Cause, you know, I want to be long gone when that happens. Hey, Space Ghost! You know what? What? That's what! <laughs> That's what! <laughs> Get it? Hey, 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 Space Ghost, you know what? Hey, Space Ghost, you know what? No, seriously, you know what? What? That's what! <laughs> Got you good, buddy. That's what. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> Brack, if you don't stop doing that annoying whatever it is you're doing, I'm going to blast Zorak. I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't. No, I don't. Believe him. Believe him. Ah! I triple dog dare you to do that again. No, 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 you don't, no, no, no. <laughs> So I guess um, blowing up Zorak makes you feel like Mr. Big Stuff. <laughs> Is that your answer to everything? <laughs> nice weather we're having. Space Coast. Um, can I make one little remark without you blowing Zorak up? Baby. I guess not. Hey, why don't you zap Brack? He started the whole thing. Oh, he'd love to blast me, wouldn't you, Space Ghost? Wouldn't you, Mr. Big Man? But he can't. You know why? Because I'm not animated to explode. That's right, right? Right. Even if I was, I'm so well loved by all that if Space Ghost blasted one hair on my pretty little head, he would get in big trouble. Am I right or 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 am I right? Right. And you know what else? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> ah, oh man. Put that arm down. Don't, don't you, hey, don't point at me there, Buster. One time I was late for school, so I rode my bike right into the class and I crashed into the blackboard. I just sat there, you know, trying to pretend like nothing had happened and the teacher said, Brack, what is the meaning of this? And I said, hey, you're the teacher, you tell me. So he said, young man, you march yourself right down to the principal's office. And I said, okay, I will. And incidentally, I don't have any broken bones or anything in case anybody's interested. And then I went to the principal's office and got his bacon. The end. And now, here's a nugget of joy from Zorak. After a tough day of conquering and wreaking havoc, I like to soak my hind pincers in a basin of warm Epsom salts and drink a soothing cup of chamomile tea. Chamomile. Mmm, precisely. Zorak, I've known you longer than I care to mention, and I have never seen you drink a cup of tea. You haven't? No, I haven't. I've never seen you soak your pinchers either. 
And when was the last time you conquered anything? Well, let's see. What's today? It's been years, Zorak. Ages! Ah, I know, I know. I'm just a stinky little liar. I'm not even worth the laser power it would take to blow me to smithereens. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, it's a lie! See, now it's kind of harsh. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Remind me not to cross you on a bad day. Zorak. Oh, Zorak. You look like you could use a nice, crispy, soothing cup of chamomile tea. Whoa! Hey! Don't touch me! Hey! Hey! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Hey! Oh! Don't touch me! Because it starts out, dear Brack. Hey, look at me. What time is it? Ha 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 Waka waka waka. Yuck yuck. Gavoo. Yahooey. I forgot a yuck there. David Drone, Memphis, Tennessee. That kid's nuttier than me. Here's one for me. Dear Zorak, my sister's is driving me nuts. It is Terry Bull. She wants me to let her have a solder ride. It hussed my back. Can you get rid of her? From Steppen. Here's another one, dear Brack. I love your show. Tell Space Ghost to stand on his head and balance a big bowl of cheese balls. No. Tell Zorak to eat a whole big bag of cheese balls and then run a mile. No. You are discombobulated. That means all mixed up. I love you. Rabina Joy Watson, Sacramento. Sacramento's main products are boxes, fertilizer, flour, almond, soap, and cheese balls. Here's Space Ghost with something to think about. Today, boys and girls, put your best foot forward. If you're not sure which of your feet is your best foot, flip a coin or have your feet run a race. When putting your best foot forward, be sure to have the proper footwear. If this requires purchasing new shoes, it's best that you get two, a right one and a left one. And remember, people judge you not by the size of your feet, but by whether your socks match. Thank you. Zorak! Hey, Z hey Zorak, why do seagulls fly over the sea? Eh, I'll bite. Why? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. See, get it? Bagels? I don't get it. Do you get it? It's not a matter of getting it or not getting it. The question is, is it worth bothering to get? I'm sure if I was interested in getting it, it would be gotten. Oh, you can be sure of that. But even if I did choose to get it and then got it, what would I get? I mean, what would be in it for me? Okay, here's another one. Why were the little strawberries upset? <sighs> Because they were in a jam. No, because they were in a j Oh, you heard it. Yes, I heard it. About a hundred years ago. You already heard the joke about the little strawberry. That's right. So, Brack, know any good jokes? No, not many. I love you, and I love me. 
I love the fishes in the deep blue sea. I love most anything as long as it's free. I love almost everybody. You know, love is a happy time all throughout the universe. It's when a male part of the species goes to the female part of the species and says, Hey, you want to go on a date? And then she would say, Well, yes, I'd like to go on a date, if you're lucky. And then you go to a restaurant and she gets something called a salad. And then he gets a big piece of beef that he eats. And that to me, ladies and gentlemen, is love. Kind of makes you cry, doesn't it? I love you, and I love me. I love to hear the robin go to eat a lady. Isn't that nice? If you love somebody, I better set them free. Set them free. Set us free. <laughs> I don't think so. I love almost everybody. Good night, everybody. I don't like coffee. It, it makes me jittery. Here's an impression of me on coffee. I've had some coffee. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? 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 I don't know what you're doing because I've had too much coffee. I don't know. Don't drink too much coffee, kids. Now it's time for the Cartoon Planet Storybook. Today's story is called Bunny Monster. It was written by Lucretia Aloysius Borneo. Cynthia is our babysitter. She's pretty and nice, but she scares the baby. This is how she looks to the baby. One time she brought over a bunny puppet to play with and keep baby happy. But Baby must have thought it was going to eat him or something. This is how the bunny puppet looked to the baby. I guess when you're that small, you think that everything is trying to eat you. The end. That story scared the pants off me. Guess I better put my pants back on. Here's a story by Ann Susan, last name withheld. It's called My Dad. My friends call my dad Mr. Jackson. He's very important. Every morning when I go to school, my dad puts on a lawsuit and goes to the office. Sometimes if he has a meeting, he'll put on his power tie. It gives him special powers. It gives him the power to say, hey, come here a minute. Hey, Zorak, come here a minute. Ah, go powder your cheeks. Got a problem? I'm listening. The kids at school don't like me. My girlfriend says I smell. The teachers say I'm lazy. Now guys, I want to yell. Zora, can you help me? Sure, kid. Just tell old Zorak. Now what's your problem? This mask is really itchy. My underwear's too tight. No one understands me. Yeah, right. Now it's time for Zorak's help win. Zorak, here's a caller with a question. Zorak, why am I so stupid? I'm so stupid, I don't even know how stupid I am. You know, I'm not hearing you. Next caller. Zorak, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Where are you? I'm here, too. Perfect. Go ahead. There's this big bully at my school who keeps taking my lunch money. What should I do? Bullies. You know, as a young mantis, I was also plagued by bullies. Really? They would always knock me down. So what did you do? I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and turned to the dark side, became evil. 
I don't think my mom would like it if I became evil. Eh, no, I suppose not. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Next caller! Zorak, I have a problem. Don't we all, kid? Now that I have a baby sister, nobody pays attention to me. Nobody pays attention to me either! Did you hear something, Space Ghost? Hey! No. Hey! Anyways, kid, pretty soon hey! the excitement will die down. Listen to me! And things will be back to normal. Nobody pays attention Hey, Space Ghost, where's Brack? I don't know. That's all for now. Keep watching for more of Zorak's Helpful Hints. Bye now. Space Ghost, why did the Uranian dweebzoid throw the clock out the window? I don't know. Why? He wanted to see time fly. <laughs> <laughs> why did the Martian Yak Yak take a ruler to bed? Why? <laughs> he wanted to measure how long he slept. <laughs> Why did the... Stop, stop, stop. stop. All right, one more. Why did the plutonium droid model 67 tiptoe past the medicine cabinet? Why? Why? He didn't want to wake up the sleeping pills. <laughs> <laughs> Zorak, your area is a haven of filth. Now you clean up this duty right now. You're not my mom, and you can't say that word on TV. What? I can't say duty? No, but you can say butt. Oh, okay then. You clean this butt up right now. Yeah, that's kosher. Roses are red, roses are blue. One more, one, one, there was one morning I was feeling sad and I walked into the breakfast nook and my mom said, Brack, don't you come in here without faith? And I said, well, mom, what do you want me to do, get a new faith? And she said, no, I want you to eat your waffles. And my mom was usually pretty good to me. So, um, one day she bought me a brand new shoe and she said, Brack, if you're a good boy, I'll buy you the other shoe. So, you know, maybe someday I'll have a pair of new shoes. So, at least I got that going for me. Well, uh, Brack, that was, uh, very... Uh, idiotic? Actually, according to the classical Greek definition, an idiot isn't somebody who's stupid. It's somebody who just sits around and does nothing. Then Space Ghost is, by definition, an idiot. Yeah? Well, what if I just don't happen to accept the classical Greek definition, hmm? Then maybe I'm not such a big idiot after all. Ha, ha, ha. So... There. There's got to be a way out of here. Sliced or cubed? Solid or spreadable? Cheese is good for you. Cheese is edible. Cheddar or gouda? Stinky or provolone? Cheese is good fuda. Try it with bologna. Whether melted on a patty. Or smothered with peas. Always remember. Nothing's cheesier than cheese.
Thank you.